Timbara as a brand never really existed as a company. Uh, it's just part of the FCN music group that have imported guitars for, for many years, since the 70s, I, I believe. Uh, my dad owns a Lorenzo guitar. I've never actually seen him play that instrument, uh, but that's also Fletcher Coppock and Newman. Uh, no relation to me, that's just pure coincidence. And my first ever guitar was uh, a Kimbara nylon string, which is a pretty decent guitar. Uh, this one I got a couple of years back for running an open mic night. I just didn't want people uh, smashing my Larivés into the chair, into the mic stand. You know how it is. People somehow managed to uh, strum and miss the entire guitar and hit the top bout as well. Not quite sure how anyone uh, it can be that clumsy. Anyway, the point being is I wanted something that I could treat like a farm animal. And that's what this guitar has been. I've actually left it out in the garage for a couple of years, even through the middle of winter. Uh, so it's had a bit of a hard life. Still sounds good though. It's a, a resilient little sucker. Uh, so the things I think you get with Kimbara, I think they, they sound good. All three of the guitars that I've got that are by this company uh, sound good. I think the actions are playable, but not pleasurable is how I would uh, describe them. I set this one up about a week or so ago, uh, leveled the frets, crowned them and uh, this one actually plays probably better than my Larivés now which is uh, amazing but if you don't know how to do that or you don't know someone that can do it for you cheaply that would be something you would have to factor in if you were thinking about buying one of these on eBay which is why I'm posting this video up because I figure these come up occasionally particularly in the UK it's a UK import company and uh, if you were thinking about buying one you might be uh, looking for some information about them this one I reckon is from the mid 90s, the 192D. Um, the uh, Lorenzo is uh, the Lorenzo Bluebird uh, from the 70s, and my nylon string is from the 70s as well. The one thing I would say about the uh, the 70s nylon string ones, uh, they don't have truss rods, so I don't want to go much above like uh, D flat on mine. Maybe C if you want a better action. Uh, if you go any higher than that that neck starts going like a banana, so uh, I, I personally wouldn't trust it. Uh, but this guitar has come up playing really well. The negatives with this guitar would be, you know, the action of fit and finish. A kind of mid-range. I mean, it was always a budget to uh, mid-range instrument. The tuners are ropey, very ropey. On all three guitars that I've got, they're uh, they stick a little bit. You know, it feels like the uh, the strings getting real tight and then suddenly goes around in loops. Changing those out probably wouldn't cost that much. About twenty-five quid gets you a pretty decent set of tuners, and then the guitar still only fifty quid. So I, I would say it's worth it. If you can do the fret work yourself, you can get an absolute bargain here. If you can't you might want to go for something that's modern and is machined a little bit better. I think on the other hand, you get, uh, you know, vintage anything is kind of cool. It's got that nice patina to it, uh, kind of cool looks as well. I think this one looks a little bit like a vintage Martin with a straight, uh, you know, the square headstock. And, uh, and the sound, the sound of all three guitars is good. So if you're looking on eBay and you're thinking, is it worth picking one of these things up? I'd say, yeah, go for it. I mean, I, I like mine. I've paid a ridiculously small amount of money at 25 quid, but even if you pay 50 quid, that's still a really cheap instrument. It sounds pretty good, and it's definitely durable. I mean, I've, um, I've tested that. So, uh, yeah, go for it. Just don't overpay because, you know, I know it's a vintage guitar and everything, but it's never going to be worth a whole heap of money. Hope you guys dug the video. If you did, maybe drop me a like, share, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. In the next future, in the next future, blimey, that's a long time. Later.